Uh, Cos, one of your first people who came in your studio was Dave Bartholomew. Why don't you tell people where he, he is in the context of the whole thing? Well, I, first, if you if you knew Dave, if you got to meet him, you, you know that he was an an author, authoritarian figure. The one thing we can thank him for, at the same time he, he bugged us with, was his intensity about doing what we were supposed to be doing in the studio, F focusing on the job at hand. Uh, I can remember him teaching Fats songs, and, and Fats would be noodling with the songs, and he'd, he'd keep on him until he, he did it. And th there was that, there would always be that moment when Fats really made that song his, and then he'd start really playing it. And, 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 and it had his imprint. You, of course, if you've ever heard Fats, and I'm sure you have, you don't hear more than two or three notes and you know it's Fats playing. And, and he put his stamp on many a song like that. But once that happened, Dave and, and the, the band did what we called head arrangements. They'd make up the arrangements on the spot, song by song by song. And uh, they were always interesting. They, they were always uh, uh, appropriate. They were always good, thanks to people like this gentleman here. And uh, the one salient characteristic of, of, of it all was Dave's focus. We knew we were there to do a job. Once you got it in your head that that, that was what we were doing, we had a product to make, we forgot about it. And everybody had a good time and you hear it in the records. You can really hear it in the records. And uh, I can't explain it, to be honest with you, but it sure was nice. What's Fats Domino like to, to work with in the studio? Well, you know, earlier I said, if, if it wasn't for Dave Bartholomew, we, we may have never had a Fats, because he, he was easy going, laid back. Uh, and in fact, until he starts playing, you know, your feeling is this guy has no drive, no, no push, no, no nothing. You know, maybe he's going to fall asleep on you. But once he starts playing, it, it, it's there's that tremendous transition, and and everything is rocking and rolling, as we say. And uh, and and his that kind of boogie woogie style he had was was just phenomenal, you know. But, but those weren't really easy sessions all the time, were they? Well, not not easy in the sense that we went in three hours and left. No, because right. it took long long stretches sometimes to finish three or four songs mm -hmm. but but they were they were good in the fact that that we, we did things we really were happy playing yeah. happy yeah, doing we did think we could make them better so yeah. we weren't concerned about how long it took us to do we were just right. concerned about when we were all satisfied that it was a good record and even even Cosmo was like a guy in a band what do you think Cos yeah it's fine and that was a very happy association yeah.